Okay, now we're going to continue our uh, discussion on life in the bedroom as an amputee. One of the problems I have with my apartment is a small apartment. And you don't have a lot of room. As an amputee in a wheelchair or whatever situation, when you're in a wheelchair, you can't have a lot of furniture blocking your way. I know you may be used to having a big dresser on one wall and put stools and different things in the way, but with a wheelchair, you got to give yourself plenty of room. If you notice on my walls, on my doors, I have scars from where I bumped into these doors with my chair. Now, uh, it may be a little bit unsightly right now, but considering a person in a wheelchair, my walls are in great shape. Now, if going around this room, you got to give yourself a wide enough berth to where you can turn around. So I don't have an extensive amount of, of furniture here. I place my TV in the corner, so that's out of the way. I've got my fan. I stay hot, so I always have a fan going. So it's over here by the window. Uh, over here uh, by this corner. Now you notice this is a twin bed. Uh, I love a king size, queen size, full size bed, but in this small apartment I couldn't have anything but a, a, a twin size bed because it gives me enough room to get around. Uh, this was a problem for me because I fell out of this thing a couple of times and as an amputee and, a, and as an old amputee you don't want to fall out of bed too often. So. Uh, well, you get whatever it takes to accommodate your living. So with me, it took this queen, it's, it's twin size bed. If you got a large room, then you can get whatever size bed you need. But you got to have enough room to get around it. Uh, my night table, I keep clearing up because it has a lot of the things I need. I need a tissue box. I got one of these lifeline call buttons in case because I'm getting older if I have to push and say help I've fallen I can't get up I've got that close by my lamp over here because I don't have fingers I can't turn a lamp on and off so I had to put a doohickey on here uh, that enables me to push a button and I can turn the lamp on uh, these things are available at Lowe's Home Depot anywhere you go they just plug onto the plug they go into the wall and you can turn a lamp on and off uh, with just a flip of a nub. Uh, clocks are all push button and you can hit with every nub. You don't have to turn a knob anywhere. Uh, this is my utility table where I keep my uh, prosthetics, my arm. This is my charging station. Uh, uh, these arms have to be charged daily and it, it has the arms, the towel that I use to lay across my lap and we'll, we'll have to go over this on another day how to put on these arms and take them off. But this is my utility station. So again, I'm able to move around uh, this room, this section over here without running into anything and without uh, turning it off. Now one important factor is uh, I, I've got two bedrooms. Uh, this is my main bedroom specifically because outside this bedroom there's a roof low enough that if in case of fire, I can raise this window up, knock the screen out, climb out on that roof, and sit there until the fire department comes. I'm not going to fall on the ground, and I'm not going to climb out there, but I can sit there and wave and say, help, come and get me. I'm not going to burn up in this apartment. 